Before we delve into today's topic consider joining our channel membership to support the content we produce. Now, on to our discussion. The theater of war has extended beyond the confines of our Earth. Welcome to the era of space warfare. As we speak, the militarization and weaponization of the vast expanse beyond our atmosphere are escalating at an unprecedented pace. We are witnessing a new kind of arms race, not on land or sea, but in the infinite realms of space. This is not the stuff of science fiction anymore. Nations, major powers are investing heavily in space capabilities, transforming the stars into potential battlegrounds. The implications are far-reaching and the consequences, unimaginable. In this uncharted territory, the line between civilian and military activities is blurred. The stakes? Higher than ever. As we venture further into this discussion let's keep in mind the gravity of the situation. With major powers beefing up their space capabilities, the stakes have never been higher. When we talk about space warfare, who exactly are we referring to? Well, the major players in this high-stakes game are none other than the United States, China, and Russia. These powerhouse nations are heavily investing in their space capabilities, with each vying to secure their place in the cosmos. The United States, a long-standing pioneer in space exploration, continues to push the boundaries of what's possible, developing new technologies for both civilian and military applications. China, on the other hand, is rapidly catching up, investing heavily in its own space program, and demonstrating impressive advancements in satellite technology and space exploration. Then there's Russia, a nation with a rich history in space exploration, who may not be as visible in the headlines but is still a key player to watch. Its legacy in space, coupled with its technological prowess, makes it a formidable force in this new frontier. As these nations pour resources into their space programs, the stakes inevitably rise. With each technological leap, the potential for conflict escalates. As these powers ramp up their space activities, the potential for conflict rises. In addition to national powers, commercial entities are also making their mark in space. These commercial actors, from satellite operators to data analytics firms, have emerged as significant players in the space arena. Their role isn't simply about profits and market share. They're contributing to the evolution of space capabilities and in turn, the dynamics of space warfare. However, their growing influence isn't without its challenges. Balancing economic interests with national security concerns is a tightrope walk. For instance, while satellite data has proven beneficial across various sectors, it's not just about delivering faster internet or more accurate weather predictions. It opens up a Pandora's box of legal and ethical questions. Who owns this data? How is it shared? And crucially, how is it protected? Moreover, the increasing privatization of space activities raises concerns about the potential for conflict between commercial and military interests. This new frontier brings with it new players, new rules, and new stakes. As commercial actors become more involved, they bring with them a new set of challenges and opportunities. Space warfare is not just a matter of technology and strategy, it's also a legal minefield. As we venture deeper into the cosmos, we're confronted with a complex legal landscape that's about as vast and uncharted as space itself. The international treaties that govern space activities many of which were drafted during the dawn of the space age, are becoming increasingly antiquated. They're ill-equipped to address the myriad contemporary challenges that arise from the militarization and weaponization of outer space. Originally these treaties were drafted in a time when space was seen as a realm of scientific exploration and international cooperation, not a potential battlefield. But with major powers like the United States, China and Russia investing heavily in space capabilities, we're faced with a new reality. The intersection of civilian and military activities in space is creating a legal quagmire that these outdated treaties simply weren't designed to handle. Additionally, Commercial space actors are now playing a significant role in the space arena, their activities further blurring the lines between economic benefits and national security concerns. The growth of satellite data, while beneficial in many sectors, also raises legal and ethical questions regarding information sharing and data privacy. We're standing at the precipice of a new era, where the rules of engagement are yet to be defined. Developing legal instruments to address armed conflict in outer space is of paramount importance. It's going to require international cooperation and leadership, particularly from the United States, to establish principles of international law that are applicable to the evolving nature of space activities. This won't be an easy task, but then again, nothing about venturing into space ever is. 
creating a legal framework that can keep pace with the evolution of space warfare is no less challenging than the technological aspects. But it's a challenge we must rise to meet if we want to ensure the long-term sustainability and security of our space activities. Space warfare is a complex and evolving field, with implications far beyond the military sphere. In the blink of an eye, we've journeyed through the vast expanse of space warfare, touching upon its escalating militarization, the role of major powers, and the burgeoning involvement of commercial actors. We've seen how the US, China, and Russia are investing heavily in this new frontier of conflict, and how commercial entities are walking a tightrope between economic gains and national security concerns. The legal landscape, however, is a realm yet to be fully charted, with outdated international treaties struggling to keep pace with the rapid advancements in space technology and warfare. The urgency of developing legal instruments that can effectively govern armed conflict in outer space is clear. This requires international cooperation and leadership, particularly from the United States, to establish principles of international law that are applicable to space activities. Before we wrap up we'd like to give a shout out to our new member Suriking1350. Thank you for your support. If you found this video informative please comment, like and subscribe to our channel. Your feedback helps us create more quality content for you.